Hey guys, it's Bandai. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. You may notice I'm in Saffron City right now. That is because we're going to finally beat the Silphco Tower. Yeah. Just before we do that, I added some moves on all my Pokemon because I realized that I was running out of box space for items. And I kind of needed to dump some items away. Um, other than that, I do need to sell a bunch of random stuff that I've got. There are a lot of really crappy moves, like I've got Water Gun, I've got Bubble Beam that I'm not going to need. Uh, but to put it simply, I taught a few moves. Rookie error at the end of last part, I taught Strength to Snorlax. You can't get rid of HMs at all in this game. In later games, you can go up to a move deleter to delete HMs. This game, you can't do that. Yeah, so now I'm stuck with strength on both Snorlax and friggin... Oh, gosh. Uh, but on top of this, I did teach Snorlax Body Slam. I taught that on top of Headbutt because it's a stronger normal type attack. And it's also... It also has a chance of inflicting paralysis, which is always a nice thing. Uh, on Clam Clam, I taught him two moves. I taught him... Well, I taught him Surf at the end of the last part, but I also taught him Ice Beam to put on top of, um... Uh, Aurora Beam. Aurora Beam does have a chance of reducing uh, your opponent's attack set, however Ice Beam has a chance of freezing your opponent. Uh, on top of that, Ice Beam is a lot stronger of an attack. Uh, for Speed V, I taught him two moves. I taught him Thunderbolt, and I should have taught him Thunder Wave, but I didn't. I'm going to teach him Thunder Wave on top of Tackle. Uh, I taught him Thunderbolt on top of Sand Attack, because I didn't need that. Seriously. Uh, for Grabo, I think... I need strength! Yes! Okay, well, stuff it, we're equipping... We're equipping? We're using TM45, which is Thunder Wave. I put that in my inventory. Speed V. Yeah, get rid of Tackle. Because I think Thunder Wave might come in handy. You never know. It doesn't slow your opponent down in this game. In later games, it, like, halves their speed. Uh, you may also notice I do have Bubber on me. Uh, I taught, um... Yeah, Pinsel's still got strength. Pinsel's pretty good, though. I like him. And finally, I taught Bubba Mega Drain, and I taught that on top of Vine Whip, because I thought, you know, he needed a drain attack at some point, and Absorb doesn't really... or Leech Seed doesn't do much. Uh, so anyway, with that, let's head into the Silphco Tower and actually... clear it. Uh, that being said, I will be still using Bubba as a bit of a last resort rather than rather than uh, my main power tank uh, because you know my other Pokemon do need a bit of training. Uh, other than that, I do need to get the map of this place. I have absolutely no clue where I'm going. I think I'm gonna keep going up. I think this guy needs a fight. If it's a fight you'll want, it's a fight you'll get! Okay, sure, it's an intruder. Whatever. Okay, so... He's got an Atkins and it's level 28. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. I went straight to here after doing stuff and things. And all of these Pokemon are the same level as all the ones in the roots on the sides. But... Like, I don't know if they expect you to go down there by now, because they do... They do put Koga in front of Erica, Not Erica, um, Sabrina. In the gym order. Sabrina is the sixth gym, apparently, but, you know, I think it's a lot easier to get up to Sabrina. You do have to beat these guys, though. We can fight Koga right now, but his Pokémon kind of reach into higher levels. Like, level 43, I think? His strongest Pokémon is? And it's 43. I don't want to do that. Good old Moopy. So yeah. So now after all that training, you know, Moopy evolved. Clam Clam caught and evolved. By the way, with the um... Because a lot... For some odd reason, a lot of the moves in this game that you learn through leveling just aren't that great. I don't know why. Uh, yellow fixes that problem, it gives you quite a lot of good moves, you know, through leveling. Um, 
gold and silver definitely fixes it because it actually gives a lot of the TMs very special moves. Whereas in this game, you just don't get that many moves through leveling. Okay, just wrap them. Holy snap, why are you missing so much movie? I swear he didn't sand attack you. Yeah. Who is you? So yeah, this guy is in a completely empty room. It's glorious. Here's a guy. Team Rocket has taken command of Sulco. Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. Now, hopefully, we can clear this place's part, but I don't know entirely. There's a lot of stuff to do in this place, like quite a lot, because it's a pretty tall place. In fact, it's the largest kind of building in the game. Holy snap, Moopy! I'm sorry, Moopy, you are out of the picture here. Flam Flam! Flam Flam, use your, use your glorious... Uh, I'll, I'll use Ice Beam. Because Ice Beam is awesome. Now you know! Drowsy. Uh, I shall go to uh, Grabo, because I think Grabo is probably at a disadvantage here. He's a bit lower level, but he's got the stats, he's got some nice moves. Strength is a pretty good move, all in all, in this game. A lot of the HO moves are actually pretty nice. And by a lot, I mean it's three of them. Cut and Flash, no, they're, they're absolutely useless, but... Fly is a pretty decent flying type attack. In fact, it's probably one of the best ones there is in this game. And Strength is a pretty good normal type attack, and Surf is one of the best water type attacks. Uh, so now I gotta go into one of these teleporters. I'm gonna go into this one. Hopefully it's the right one. I got that. Uh, apparently this list is L, L, I have no clue. Oh, that sent me up to the 10th floor. By the way, you cannot go up the top. Like, if you go up the next floor, which is the very top floor that you're supposed to get to by the end, you will realize that it is closed off. You cannot get into the place. You have to actually find the correct teleporter into, you know, no, into the place. So yeah, so we will have our ending party right here. Uh, it's, you know, no, I don't have Dragon Eye for me. Uh, Vice Grip. I'm using Vice Grip instead of Strength. Uh, what are the odds I'm gonna hit myself? Like, one in three, but apparently I will hit myself in one of Now, the problem with Dragonair, may I just add, is that it evolves at level 55. That may not happen for, like, the entire game. Granted, some of the look- I think the champion's at level 60, and I don't think- I don't think I will be way under level for that. Uh, I have no idea what he just said. Coughing? Okay. We may as well show all our good moves. Uh, Grabo, come back. Go Speed V. Use the brilliance that is Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. The best thing ever. No continues, no! Um, so yeah. I will head up level. Just cause, yeah, so you see, we have to get there. If you keep going around, this guy's just like, oh, halt! You have an appointment with my boss. Which is weird, cause if you actually look at the layout of this place, it's just like, why are you waiting here of all things? The worst part is that he's got, like, five Pokemon. Okay, so Moopy is still low level. Got it. Actually, can you wrap this? Yeah, you can. Yes! Wrap it! Because Moopy needs experience somewhere, and I, if there's one Pokemon I'm going to overlevel, I want it to be Moopy. Because Moopy, you know, pretty much all of my other Pokemon are all set, except for Moopy. Moopy will still learn. Oh no. Oh, good. Moopy will still learn moves after he 
well, after a while. Um, whereas everything else kind of, they're not going to learn anything that great. Speed V is pretty much all, in fact, Speed V, Cloyster, um, Clam Clam, Bubba. Maybe. Possibly Grabber. I don't know about Grabber, you might learn something, but pretty much I just used all of my best TMs and I kind of I kind of made that decision because I was just like, you know, I need some of these. And that's weird because I haven't actually given Moopy some of the best attacks. I want to give him, say, like try attack. But I'm a little bit tempted not to right now. I don't I don't think he needs Thunder Wave though. I'll tell you that. I'll keep Rap though, Rap is always good. Oh my gosh, it's a snake! Quick! Rap the snake? That's his technique. Oh god! That's what the snake's. Yeah! Mookie, you pull up, you pull through with like 7 health. I really need like some, uh, lemonade. So yeah, so this guy's just like, oh yeah, do you have an appointment? Too bad, this isn't the right way to go. What a jerk. Uh, so let's see, I think we can go from the 10th floor over to this dude. This dude's actually in a really strange place, because there's three. <laughs> Welcome to the 10th floor, so glad of you to join me. It's like, this guy is in a place where there's just three items just laying about. They're not hidden, and you know what's the worst part? It's got one Pokemon! I know it's level 33, so I guess yeah, but... Rapid! Rapid! Moopy, you can do this! I believe in you! I keep saying that, because he takes forever! Holy snap, does Rap take forever? I've still got Clamp, because I kind of like that aspect. On, um, Clamp Clamp. My goodness, this is take forever. Holy snap! The choke just die. This is rap in a nutshell. And it's weird, because normally when I play the game, I never use rap. Maybe it's because I never use Cloyster and Tratini. So anyway, with that, you get some items. You can get a car boss. You can get a rare candy, which I'm gonna use immediately on Moopy. So I'm putting all my rare candies on Moopy because I want to overlevel him. He's the weakest one of the group just because he can't. He just can't attack that well compared to everything else. Everything else is very specialized. Also, TM26, which I believe is Earthquake, which is really good if I had a ground type. If you have a ground type Pokemon, teach it. If you got Sand Slash, do it. Any rock types? Yeah, do that. Uh, you can't really do anything on this floor, so I'm gonna head down to the ninth floor. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, let's see, what's on the ninth floor? We gotta train it down here. Oh no, I dropped the lift key. He's one of the four Rocket Brothers, again. There's a lot of Rocket Brothers. Oh no, he wants to fight. Ah, Golbat, we meet again. <laughs> it's been a while, Golbat. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, I bro I, I I learned this cool trick. You oh, of course, confused right now. Typical, typical friggin' thing. I learned this nice trick. It is called um, Ice Beam Bomb. Yeah. Woo! I think I think it's because ice is super effective against both flying and poison. I have my... <laughs> I have my, um... Snoozer will go to you. Because we may as well show Body Slam in action. Show all these moves, yeah, yeah. Eh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Why? Well, we'll use Strength, because we haven't used that in battle. What? How? How did you flinch me twice? Oh, there's strength. 
You know, in later games, people will say strength isn't worth it, mainly because of stuff like Giga Impact and stuff. But seriously, with Small Axe's HP and his special defense, like, look how much damage this confusion's gonna do. Okay, that did a bit, but. Strength! We have strength in numbers. No, oh, don't, don't disable it twice, seriously. There you go, we did it! We defeated the Hypno, and we got a lot of experience for it. Warg Brothers, I lost. Warg Brothers? Now, if you go up to this door, it needs a card key. Not a key card, but a card key. Um. I'm gonna head down this way because there's another dude down there. By the way, because I'm on higher levels, now I can actually fight these dudes. Oh no! He can nail my weak point. Huh? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Okay, sure. He's a scientist and he wants to fight. So he sends out his exploding ball. Uh, oh, I can't wrap him that much. Slam him? Yeah, I knew most people would die. I don't think you can use rare candies on a fainted Pokemon. It's so disappointing when that happens, even. When your Pokemon dies after fighting after self destruct. It's just like, eh. Ah. Because you don't get any experience. Uh, he's got a I love how it's like you send out a Pokemon. Oh, do you want to switch? Could have told me that earlier. Strength! Da 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 da. That was a crit. Now it's tackle. And this is Vice Grip. Oh, he's a ton of magnets. Uh, let's see. Can I guilt him? Oh, so close. Sonic Boom! Try it again. Yes! It's so good when you get a 1-hit KO mode down. I think they actually do ban 1-hit KO modes in tournaments these days. So you're not actually allowed to have them. Like, to be honest, 30% is just like, it's annoying in single player because it's just like, you'll run out of PP so quickly. In multiplayer though, you will pull off a hit once and it kind of gets annoying in tournaments, seriously. Oh yeah, there is a kid wandering around. Have you seen him? I have seen him around recently. Yeah. Anyway, this guy wants to fight. He's only got an Arbok. Arbok! Um, Ice Beam? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Ice Beam. Um, it's so amusing. Oh, we haven't seen Surf yet, haven't we? Just kept spamming Ice Beam. Uh, it's here, Surf. Particle is everywhere! Surf does a lot of damage. It's not as good as Hydro Pump. We haven't gotten that yet. Boom. Uh, so yeah. Now, I'm actually gonna step in this teleporter because I gotta go back in and out. Dang it, annoying placement. You can't walk around the teleport. There's a card. The card key is right here. And I think we did fight this guy up here. Oh, no we didn't. Now the question is, how many people have we fought? Because I'm just like, ooh, I don't really know if we've done everybody. I can definitely tell you, for the second, third, and fourth floors, we've done everybody who's just kind of standing out in the open. I think, yeah, pretty much. Clamp! Oh, so close. Yeah, special defense, that's my worry. That's my worry with Cloyster. Poison get what? What? <laughs> Clamp isn't actually that strong. And this is my worry with uh, Cloyster, because his physical defense, while incredibly high if I look at his stats, incredibly high, special, yeah, it's a bit here and there. Uh, Snoozu has the spe- oh no, Snoozu doesn't have the special in this game. Oh. He has the special in later games, but not this game. Speed V has the special. Seriously. Speed V! Oh no! Can't quick attack. Whatever will I Thunderbolt? That sound is just so... Wow, oh I guess it's got a good special defense. 
the or special. So this is why the special stack kind of needs to be split up, because if it's counted as both attack and defense, developers, the people who are like balancing the stats are just suddenly like, oh yeah, look, he's, he's only got one stat, but it combos for like two things. Cough, cough. Oh no, I killed him. Nah, he's just there. Um, so we got the card key, and by the way, yeah, you have to walk all the way around here. You have to go into the teleporter. But yeah, so now I have the key card, so... Oh, the card key. So now I can open any door in this place. Uh, where does this one go? Sometimes I just go to kind of bogus places that, you, you know, weren't, were already kind of open. Like this place. I think this is the second floor. Nope, it's the third floor. But yeah, like, seriously, there's ten floors! And you're supposed to know where you're going! In ten floors! Oh no, he's fighting me! Oh! What will I do? Scientist! Sends out Electro! I just realized he's in an Electro. I better hide. Uh... Snoozu, you got this! I knew it! I knew it! I knew he would do that. Just straight up. Ah, oh, it's a crit! Of course it's a crit. Ah, uh, Speed V. You got this. Speed V. About to use Weezing. Yeah, I got this. Weezing! Uh, Thunderbolt. That's a James Bond film. Thunderbolt. Seriously, it's just like, why do I even try? You really got me now. Now, I'm gonna heal up, I will be right back. And I am about right back. So yeah, so all the doors stay... Actually, I'm gonna see what's on the second floor. Um, all the doors stay open, so you kinda know what you're doing, kind of. There is a doorway on the second floor. Uh, this is not this way. <laughs> down a bit. So thankfully all these floors, they're not too big. Fortunately there's no wild Pokemon. I've already been in there, so... Uh, fortunately there are no wild Pokemon, that would just make this the worst place in the world. Pokemon Mansion does have wild Pokemon. He's a Sylphon boy, what? No you're not. If you're a Sylphon boy, why are you fighting me? I've got four Pokemon, ugh. Boo! Said the Grimer. I should wrap it! Oh, dude, critical hit wrap. Yeah! I love it when you wrap critical hits. And then it only hits twice. Seriously, every time. Every time I try and do that, it's just like, nope. Moopy! Wheezing. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll change. Speed V can take this guy out so quick. Also, by the way, most of Team Rocket will actually be done after this place. Seriously. That's about it. Whoa! I don't know why I used it again, but okay. I was going for the Thunder Shock, but... Yeah, whatever floats your boat. Uh, was he about to use Copping? I'll oh, stick with Speed V, because Speed V is still good. I got good physical defense, these guys. Ah! I love the crits. I love them. Uh, wheezing. Oh. Oh, what will I do? I guess I'll just have to do the exact same thing again. Oh my goodness, that takes him out. Level 34! Yeah. How did you know I was a... Uh, cause you started fighting me. Okay, so... This teleporter goes... Somewhere? Oh, he's one of the Rocket Brothers. Uh, which floor is this one? 
no clue what floor this is. It's not seven. If it's seven, that's the- oh, it's six, okay. Uh, Matrop! Slamming! Pajama slamming! Ooh! I love them crits, they happen a lot though. Like, ridiculously a lot. The choke, uh, yeah, I've got this. Slam! Oh no, you missed! Oh no, you got kicked! Whoa! Slam it again! Well, the first one was a crit, so that's okay. Okay, rapid. There you go, critical hit, rack. Bet you only, bet you it will ask me for another attack. Oh no, it, it hit three times. Four times, ooh, that's great. That's good. It's so entertaining when you get, when you get it all down. Flame out! What? Okay, right, sure. Um, so these guys aren't actually Team Rockets, they're just like, oh dear, oh dear, please help me, help me. Look at him, he's such a coward. <laughs> Knows. This guy is all like they must have targeted still for our Pokemon products. Now, what are we? What are Team Rocket actually going for? And by the way, I like I like Team Rocket in this game because they're kind of like they're kind of like we're going for stuff that actually matters. They want to conquer the world. Uh, no motif, uh, but yeah, that's the problem. They don't exactly say why they want to conquer the world. They just kind of say they do want to conquer the world. This guy's gonna fight me, but I'm gonna open this door and get the items inside. Let's see, what's inside? HP up! Yup. X accuracy. I don't, I don't know why I'm gonna need that, but okay. I'll fight you! The tis- the, the tixie branch? Okay, sure. Oh my gosh, five Pokemon! Why? Moopy can't stand this! Good job, Moopy. That wasn't even a crit. I guess she's ten levels less. Uh, coughing, yeah. He's, oh, I guess closer as well, but... BB's better on the special. Thunderbolt! Hooray! What are you gonna do? Magneton? Uh... Magneton's got good, good special, so back to Moopy. Moopy! So yeah, so Moopy still has 20 levels before it evolves, which... You know, when, when you think about it, we're only, like, four badges into the game, but when you also think about it, after this, I'm literally going to get three of them quick fast, or I guess the first two quick fast, and then I'm gonna head straight off to the second one, and then the third, and then, yeah. Like, you get, you get those last badges kind of quickly, although you just, you have to deal with a lot of side stuff. I mean, I guess when you think about it, I got Brock's badge in, like, part six, so, or part four. Uh, I was about to say guillotine, but I was thinking it was a bit too much on a level 25 Magnemite. So I'll just strength him. Oh, come on! <laughs> so close! So close, but so far! It, it hurts to see that. Oh, uh, what's he got? Coughing. I, I can take him. Strength! And, by the way, coughing's defense in a nutshell. Punch him in the face. There you go. Shoot! I already did. Uh, there's also another trainer down here. <laughs> you dare betray it? Betray? I didn't betray nobody. Oh, come on, Moopy! No. Can't do this if you confuse this. Uh, Snoozer, you can do this. I know it's flying type, so, yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, Body Slam! Swing attack. 
Yeah. That was a crit. Yeah, that's the problem with confusion is that if you hit yourself, it's your attack hitting you, and that's the worst part. So if you got if you're a, a special attacker, it doesn't hurt you that much. If you're a physical attacker, it hurts you tons. And also, I just got hit by it three times in a row, and then I took him down in one hit. Zubat, uh, I'll take him. I, I said I will take him, as if it was just like, oh yeah, I got this. Uh, I'm gonna use rest. Dang it, I can't hit. I'm, uh, I want to rest, therefore I shall hit myself. Oh no, he bit me. Aha, you can't do that. Now you can. But it failed. I'm still confused though. That's the, that's another issue with confusion, is that it still goes past if you use rest. Oh no, it's a gold bat! Ugh. Quick! Sit on it! Sit on it, Snoozoo! Eh, nope, you didn't kill it. Snoozoo is confused no more! I love that word. I'm not a trader. I'm a trainer. I love how they keep saying you trader, but it's just like there's no back into that at all. Uh, so let's see. So we're back in this room. You know the one with the guy behind it. There's a Pokemon report. Four Pokemon evolve only when traded by Link Cable. There's the fact. Can you name them? Golem. Uh, Golem, Gengar, Machamp, and ooh, the last one. Alakazam, got him. It's Pokemon Report. Pokemon Lab created Porygon. And then they sold it. There shouldn't be any children. What? Oh. Oh, okay. He's a juggler. Evil juggler. Evil juggler has Kadabra. Kadabra. Evil juggler. Oh. I'm not going to do that ever again. I'm sending Clam Clam against a special attacker. Oh, yeah, sometimes jugglers do that. Why'd you do that? I'm just gonna surf him. Barrier, of course! Since this is your defense, not too special. You know, I don't think there's anything that actually raises special, which is one of the worst things about this game. Because if it raised special, it would raise your attack as well as your defense, which makes sense. So it would be like really boss, but it doesn't happen. Oh no! He disabled Ice Beam. Okay. Disabled no more! <laughs> okay. I'll take it. You should have gotten double scoop ice cream. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll keep playing, playing. Playing, playing. Ice cream. Yeah, light screen, light screen specifically says it protects special attacks. Whereas it doesn't just up defense. Whereas barrier just says it ups defense. Great Leroes! Keep surfing. This is, it's an oyster that's surfing. I don't know how it does that, but okay. Oh goodness! I got a lot of money for that. Um, so yeah. We'll check out this last report. Yeah. It's a Pokemon report. Over 160 unique techniques have been confirmed. That, that's, that's a fun translation thing. Shouldn't it say attacks or technical machines? I guess it means technical machines because it's a machine that teaches techniques. So this guy's just like... <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, I guess with that, I'll end the part off here. We will be finishing this very soon. Because... Like, seriously, I've checked out most of the floors, and there's, like, barely anything left. Okay, so I guess with that, I'll see you guys next time. See you guys later.